Hey, what's up everyone? Today we're going to be walking you guys through how to set up your own Pal World server just like this one where you can have a bunch of your friends join and play together. With that being said, this is the simplest and easiest way how you can set up your very own Pal World multiplayer server. So without further ado, let's get into it. You're going to want to head over to the sponsor of our video today, Game Host Bros. They are the first link in the description. They provide a simple and easy process to get your Power World server set up and ready to go for both Steam and Xbox Game Pass. Even if you have an existing Power World save file, you'll still be able to transfer it over to your multiplayer server seamlessly. Once you're on their page, you're going to want to make sure to click configure your server and make sure you go through the process of setting up your server. Choose which server version you want. It isn't particularly too important to decide which server version you want. You're able to change it later on anyways. Once you purchase everything and you wait the 10 minutes or less, once your server's set up, then we can proceed on to the next step. Once you log into your panel, you are going to see your server that will be listed right here. As you can see here, my server is here, my pal world or my pal server and the IP address. If I want to go through here, I can click manage. And here's where you're going to manage everything to do with your server. This is where you're going to be able to configure things like your XP, things like how much uh how much you want your uh, pal damage rate to be and in particular things like that for your world to make it a unique server for you and your friends so as you can see here you can click start restart kill or stop this is where you can control your server you click restart the server will restart you click stop the server will stop and down here you can see the how your server is running and the usage of everything but we're going to want to focus on the configuration and click configuration and startup parameters in here is where you're going to be able to set how many players you want in your server you can set this to whatever you want the max for power world right now is 32 um that's just because the game will only let you host up to 32 people but you can change this to 5 10 15 20 whatever you want it's up to you that's the great thing about game host bros you purchase the server and you're able to access it and have full control over how many players you want on your server. That's great. So, and you can also control your server name, password, admin password. You could scroll down and change the version. So if you own it on Steam, you can click here, uh, server version and click the drop down and change it to Steam. If you own it on Xbox, you're going to want to set this to Xbox. If your friends own it on Xbox, they're able to play it with you. That's on PC or on Xbox itself. But if they own it on Steam, you're going to need to make a Steam server and own the game on Steam. Unfortunately, right now, Power World does not provide cross-platform play between Steam and Xbox. That's something that hopefully will be coming later on down the road. But as it is right now, you're going to need to decide which version your server is going to be running on depending on which version you and your friends have so you can also set up your server description as well as change the day rate the time speed pretty much everything that you'd be able to set up on your own server like for yourself where you're hosting it just you know where your friends would join locally um, you pretty much have full control over everything right here. Super easy. Um, you know, it's it's pretty self-explanatory. Um, there is something very important that you will need to do if you plan on having a popular server with uh, about 32 people or a lot of players on it and you don't know some of the people and it's going to be a public server. You're going to want to click tools and mod manager in here. You're going to want to make sure to install pal guard. This will prevent people from cheating, prevent people from hacking, prevent people from basically exploiting your server. If you want more information on that, we can click here tab and we can scroll over. And as you can see, power pal guard, the anti cheat, which provides various additional admin commands such as IP banning, IP whitelisting for admin commands chat logging unreal network logging configure cheat punishments pvp damage limiting and automatic cheat and exploiting preventions and punishments all this is built in you just click install and you'll have full access to all of these commands as an admin as you can see here there's a whitelist command there's a give pal give egg there's a uh, cat waifu whatever that is there's a bunch of different options in here you can ban people you can ip ban people you can add 
uh, add people to whitelist for admin. You can set people as an admin, um, things like that. So I highly recommend that you do put this on your server, even if you aren't making the server super popular and it's just for you and your friends, you still get access to some cool commands like giving people um, things such as like, uh, you know, giving them you know a pal or giving them an egg or something like that so it is kind of cool it is kind of fun um it allows you to have more control over your server that previously you probably wouldn't have you won't have really access to this stuff and you can also check the nearest guild name of people who own your nearest uh own the guild nearest to you like the base and stuff like that as you can see here there's a command for that right there so let's head back um over here and we are going to want to go back to server details once we're in here this is where you can get your ip address for your server you are going to want to share this with your friends the ip address is what you will be able to connect to with your friends um if you're watching this video and you do try to connect to this ip uh, it might work i don't know for how long the server is going to be active uh, my server is going to be active but make sure if you do join keep in mind that my server limits are set here which is 20 gigs of memory and 50 gigs of disk space your server can be different you can configure them differently uh when you are setting up your server before you get to these points so even if you want to upgrade you could reach out to their support talk to them about it they'll help you um and stuff like that uh, if you want to give access to anyone to have access to your panel, like this panel, you can click management, sub users, and create. In here, you're able to create someone. You can add their email. You can scroll down and set what permissions they get to access the panel. And if you have like a friend that you run the server with or whatever, they can have access to this panel as well where they can control the server. They can change the settings and stuff like that, the setup parameters and uh yeah so let's uh go in here and let's change um a uh, setup parameter real quick um for example this is usually one i've set this to zero and i'll show you what that does so my player stamina decrease rate is now set to zero so if i set that to zero and restart my server and i go in here then if i start hitting a tree as you can see there's initially a little xp drop but after that i never lose any xp like i can just continuously hit this tree as many times as i want and never run out of stamina also same as sprinting you know you can sprint as much as you want never run out of stamina things like that so you have full control over all these things um you can have up to 32 people on your server it's super simple super easy super quick and super fast to just get your server set up ready to go to invite your friends so all right guys if you guys want to see me do a video a tutorial on how to do this on a vps and set up the server completely manually on a vps then drop a comment below hit like and make sure to subscribe thank you guys so much for watching this video thank you so much to game host bros for sponsoring this video and i hope you guys have a great day thank you guys and i'm out